Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Huan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raid 1 Specialist account. Every 75 raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 soul raids. Please enjoy the series. Alright, that wasn't too bad, honestly. That worked out pretty well. Oh my god, an onyx! Holy shit! Alright, man, my second... No, is it my third onyx? I swear, this is like my freaking third onyx or something on here. Holy shit. Oh my goodness, man. Okay, I need to check in my bank in a second and see how many onyx I got, because, you know, I need, I need them for Zenites, so... That could work out really, really well for me. Really, really well. Okay, so let me check here. How many Onyxes do I got now? Oh my god. I've gotten three Onyxes from uh, Tekton. I think that's all the Onyxes I need uh, for all these Zenai jewelries, you know? So yeah, that's really nice. I mean, Suffering I'm gonna have to want to make for Zora, you know, because I need to collect scales eventually. And then that's uh, Torture Cover, that's uh, Tormented Bracelet Cover, dude. Amazing. All from Tekton. Easy game. Alright guys, I'm getting really close to unlocking 90 Herblur for Super Combats on Overloads. And I figure doing all these raids, I must be pretty close, right? Because I'm getting a lot of uh, herbs and stuff from raids. And yeah, I haven't really been doing too much farming, but um, I just checked. I went on Calcusaurus, of course. So starting off with about a thousand Toeflats I can turn into Ceridum and Bruce. And uh, 7,000 Aeris I can easily turn into Super Attacks, 100%. Um, Aventos, at 2,500, all I have to do is collect some Mushrooms, not too bad. Quorums for 1,000. And we have ourselves Cadentine, Super Defense for 1,000 as well. 1,000 Magic Potions with Lanadines. I have 1,000 from Kelpie Queen, the Potato Cactus. And that gets me all the way to actually 90. So, yeah, that's great. <laughs> uh, actually, kind of just instinctively got to this amount without having to do any farm runs. It's been a while. Yeah, man, let's get started. Gonna collect some secondaries and yeah, we'll be on our way. Oh, fuck. That's right. Uh, right, no more scales. So, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna start uh, dismantling here. We're not gonna do it all at once, you know. We'll just we'll just do it one at a time. But yeah, we are using kind of like the last of our resources here. You're dead. No, there it is, though. No purples. Uh, we are currently on a fifty-ish dry streak. Not a big deal though, you know, I'm aiming for actually 100 dry. What? Just so we can humble ourselves a little bit here, but um, yeah, 450 KC. We have actually unlocked the 90 Herbler. So it's time for me to figure out what the next upgrade is going to be. So I was going to go for Tormented if I get an Ancestral Top of Bottom, but that didn't happen, so that's already off. So I was deciding between the Occult Necklace and the Defender. Honestly, I've done a lot of like intense stuff recently, so... I'm gonna go for the Occult Necklace, you know, it's nice to do some Slayer, it's been a while. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've set, set my mind to the Occult Necklace, so that's what we're going for. That's gonna be the next upgrade. And uh, once I get 90 Herbal, I can make Super Combat, so I will have the inventory space to actually fit the uh, Occult Necklace into my inventory, no problem. So yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Yay, I can actually make this really good freaking mahogany box. All right, I'm not like super emergency need of space, but yeah, I might as well just do it now while I remember because I still do clue scrolls from time to time. And yeah, I still get a bunch of unique stuff and they will definitely clock up my bank, so. Oh, it feels so satisfying just pushing in, putting in all of these god dang things into the poh ah satisfying of you know the attack possibilities of ohm right there oh <gasps> i broke the dry streak perfect 
Oh my god, dude. Nice. Broke the dry streak, boys. That wasn't that bad. It was only a 60-ish dry streak. I'm gonna be blessed, right, with an ancestral item that isn't a hat, right? Let's open this up. There we go. <gasps> Surprise, mother- Oh, no way! A Koda Insignia, dude. Oh my god. It's a magical item. The magical butt plug. Oh my god. My first mega rare. Nice. Actually, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, do I have to get the shitty master wand? Yeah, I do. I have to get that shitty master wand now. Nice. Just got my uh, my first ever mega rare. I'm glad it wasn't an uh, Elder Maul, though, to be honest. So then again, yeah, it's perfect because I need to train my Slayer. So having a code I want would be amazing for like, uh, you know, barraging and, and whatnot. Oh, that's nice. Well, I can't use it yet. I, I need uh, 43 more race to go for that. But but yeah, I need to get all the way to eventually, what is it, 95. So yeah, I'll, I'll have some good uses for this Kodai. That's awesome, man. First Mega. rare, dude. Pretty much right on the money. You know? It's around like 500 to see my f first rare, Mega rare. So. so yeah, that's awesome, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this will be the eighth unique. Damn, just three, four more items to get. Twisted Bow, Elder Maw, and then Sushro Top and Bottom. Wonder if we can actually finish it by the 1500. Since the uh, farming level, I can now grow Red Roots, even though I already have one right there. Massive thing over there, but uh, anything to help me get 2000 total is also nice. Alright, might as well collect all I got at the kingdom for my biggest herb brand to date here. Yes, the bird nests are so good. That's the main thing I want right now. This is probably one of the most weird type of farm runs I'm doing. I'm literally not even doing herbs because I have so many herbs. So instead, I just go to the the regular patches and I just plant limps and I just plant like snake grass. That's all I do. <laughs> it's like super fast compared to herb runs and yeah, you get a lot out of it. So worth it for the 90 herb brand. How many points are we? 20,160. That's beautiful. Okay, I actually hit 95 woodcutting. So I was thinking, okay, I could just get all the way to 99 woodcutting right away. Or I could go and AFK another skill. And um, I'm thinking, you know what? There's really no rush to get 99 woodcutting. So I think I'm going to start working on some mining. I guess mining is another pretty good skill to train for raids because higher mining means I can uh, destroy the guardian room faster. Alright, forgot about this. I thought I already uh, bought upstairs. Oh yeah, uh, initially when I did mother low I said I'm never going back but then again, of course, we always go back to mining. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this. Oh shit, that's so tempting, but definitely upstairs first. And then I will think about going for the uh, upgraded sack, you know, bigger sack. Probably is the next goal from this mining. Alright guys, after days of cleaning my herbs and gathering secondaries, I present to you the herbs slash secondaries uh, needed to get me from, what do we got, 86 herbler probably close to 90 herbler very very close to 90 herbler but yeah let's go and uh destroy my gp god damn my biggest stack is the 7000 errors the, these are the most efficient uh potion to make on an iron man just because you know iron dudes i can just buy in the store so here we go make unfinished potions Ooh, not too shabby only two mil you know only two mil man it's gonna be a quite quite a long session of potion making more video editing time i guess Okay, 87 already. Yeah, I was actually pretty close. I gained a lot of XP cleaning herbs. Hell yeah, 88 herb alert. Okay, so I'm going through uh, all the herbs right now. Uh, I'm gonna do freaking the uh, potato cactus. Holy shit. <laughs> this is gonna be fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna go get all the super fast ones done first. Holy shit. 172 XP drops. Oh my god. Alright, dude. I'm at 345k. 50k an hour. Oh my god. That's insane. 
All right, dice, 89 Herbler. That's such, such an amazing level. Now I can just use Great Man's Ale and yeah, just boost it out and make some freaking super combats. Oh, so easy to make these super combats, holy shit. Pretty good prayer boost. Got that freaking preserve. 50% longer, so my boost lasts one minute 30 seconds, then one minute easy. Again. Oh my god! Oh shit! Yo, a thousand super combats! Damn, brothers. Oh, I lost my boost. There we go. Okay. So, with the super combat, it has freed up one extra space. And uh, for now, until I get the occult upgrade, you know, at 525 race KC, I will bring the Archer's Ring, just because uh, range can always be improved on, especially with the Blowpipe, you know. There are some tanky creatures where the Blowpipe does miss a bit, so having that extra accuracy is going to be insane. Most notably, Vanguard's Fossa Skeleton. Probably Ohm Head Phase, but Dragon Hunter Crossbow, I, it's, it's kind of hard to know it's there, but... Yeah, those those three to four bosses, the Archer's Ring is going to help a, a ton with. Oh yeah, I forgot the Archer's Ring actually has a uh, 8 range defense too. So it does help me uh, tank some some range attacks, you know, especially from the agility room. Okay, we should be good now. All right. Okay, let's try Fispila with no enhance and just overloads. Yep, not bad. That worked out pretty well. The part of the overloads is just good enough, I guess. With Vanguard, it should work. Yep, gonna do some more Vanguard pre Fispila raids and keep testing it. Yeah. Uh, this is perfect. I'm gonna make it right to, across the lightning. Easy game. I'm not in there anymore. Alright. This is it. The last uh, 14 super attacks I ever gotta make. Probably. Because I have like a few thousand super attacks lying in the bank after this. Not sure, man. I should never say the word never for this. But here it is 90 herbler. We're finally done. Make super combat potions and make strong Noxifer potions, you know, overload plus. Ah, oh, amazing! I still have 400k XP, 300k XP left over. Jeez. Oh, right. Yeah, 90 Herbler was our 6th unlock. Yeah, we are done with that now, so that's really awesome. Bam, done with that. Okay, good stuff. This rotation map here, so there is a few layouts that are really good. That doesn't have overloads. So, for example, Fossa, Guardian, Skeleton, Mystics. Whether you go clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter. Whether it's three or four of them, it, it doesn't matter. They're all really good to do if you get this combination. But no overloads. So, I can actually do those now. Um, maybe also Skeletal, Mystics, Vanguards, Fossa, Shamans. Either way is fine. But the Vanguard takes a while, so I might do this rotation if it's only like a three boss. And still make overloads or something. Oh shit. Nice, 79 Jody. Alright, I only got one more level left before uh, the mark penalty starts hitting me pretty hard at the Sears course, so I'm gonna miss this place, man. Just one more level. And then it's over. Alright, 75 mining, damn. First level of mining in quite a long, long time, man. Goodness, but uh, you'll definitely be seeing quite a bit of mining levels wait a minute uh, I just got my last three nuggets let me see I think I should have 200 show me the money uh, where did I put them oh 202 nuggets right there all right can I already unlock the bigger sack mm -hmm. yes I'm doing it right away honestly perspective gear barely is worth it right now having a bigger sack it's just much better because I don't like banking so yeah the less I spend uh, having to bank back to back the better all right couldn't really get my quarter out on time here first uh, minute of gameplay today and I got myself a mining level already 76 got him oh another onyx oh my god how do they keep getting onyxes holy shit I just got a leftover onyx now Dang, I can make a regen bracelet with that, I guess. That's bad, man. Are you kidding me? Hey, how? Okay, I don't understand. 
how did the bugger didn't even explode on me I, it was like dead close i was it was just dead close to me nice you're dead that was beautiful oh my good dang it we can't go for the 100 dry streak it's impossible it's impossible man we are uh currently we were about 40 uh 40 race try but uh unfortunately we broke that dry streak already do a spinny mode okay let's spin for the drop boys oh my god another giant hunter crossbow oh man wow i mean it's a good drop though this this thing this thing's a lot of bomb money technically all right i think i'm just gonna poison walk i think this works oh it works it works boys no why did you jump oh god dang it man what what the fuck that shit confused me right there wow you see that shit Actually, I'm just gonna drink a Super Combat. One of the beauties of the Super Combat. At the very least, I do have defensive boost without having to use a Brewer, so that's huge. Just really useful for things like Vanguards and Agility Rooms. Actually being defense probably without Brewing. No, where's the bomb? Oh my god, it's literally right there. That was a really smart, you know, very high high IQ move by Ohm. But you didn't time it right, you idiot. Alright, yeah, finally. This is a really good raid. Doesn't matter. There's no overloads. This is super fast. So, yeah, with Danny Erp, this raid is actually really worth doing. Otherwise, look at this. I'm pretty much done with everything. And now it's just prep. So, yeah, like probably a three-minute prep including overloads. Damn, that's so nice, dude. No overloads this raid, but literally, you know, 90 herb. Pog champ, dude. 90 herb is amazing. <gasps> no, I forgot about my trident. Ah. It's really nice being able to grind this game without having to worry about the stress of the inferno, I gotta say. But yeah, I got a lot done today, man. Got a Kodai one, our first mega rare. So in the next episode, we're going to be working hard to unlock that. And also 90 Herbler unlocked. Huge, huge for me in terms of rating efficiency. So that's always nice. Anyways, I'll be wrapping up today's video here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. If you enjoyed the video, definitely support the video by giving it a like. And also... I do want to promote the other channel that me, Rakesy, and Mitt Macau, which are other RuneScape YouTubers, we work on this podcast channel for Old School RuneScape, where we talk about Old School related topics, whether it's between the community or certain updates, and yeah, we post podcasts featuring guests from RuneScape community as well, usually every Sunday, so if that sounds interesting to you, check it out, I'll post the link to the channel at the end of the video anyways i'll see you guys soon with another video hopefully within a week take care and bye bye